Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com and I want to compare GetResponse and AWeber today and show you how to choose between two of the better email marketing services out there. And uh, if you're not using an email marketing service for your business, you might want to start doing that right away. So hopefully this video will help you make a better decision between GetResponse versus AWeber so you can figure out which email marketing service would best serve your business alright so first we're going to compare pricing um, as far as that goes get response kinda showed the uh, the better pricing by a little bit of a savings of about four dollars a month which uh, could add up over time or if you have a very low budget right now and uh, you're counting every dollar then it might be easier for you to get to uh, afford get response but they also allow you up to a thousand subscribers okay so if you're trying to build up your list from a small number to a bigger one and you're on a low budget I definitely recommend get response based on their numbers at fifteen dollars a month for up to a thousand subscribers and then if you need to upgrade you can get to twenty five dollars a month for up to twenty five hundred subscribers and of course they also have annual billing which will save you some money there as well uh, as far as AWeber it's nineteen dollars a month and you only get up to five hundred subscribers for the lowest end of their pricing and then it's twenty nine dollars a month for up to twenty five hundred so the winner in pricing obviously is get response and now um, as far as the next subject we're going to cover is opt-in forms okay obviously if you have a blog you're going to have an opt-in form like this where it collects emails to uh, market to through this service and as far as opt-in forms that's a very big um, part of a blog especially is uh, you'll usually see a website with an opt-in form at the top right corner of their widget area and um, that's where you can opt in and usually you'll be able to get a free ebook free course free report or just get blog updates uh, daily as far as that goes it's it's hard for me to kind of just break down who's better at this but um, I, th I believe AWeber has more choices for templates and I believe it's a little bit better as far as the coding of it and the uh, customization of the forms so if you had to pick one I would say AWeber has the best opt-in forms by a narrow margin and automation um, automation is very important because we only have so much time in the day and the the less time we can spend um, creating new emails all the time and things like that the better so we have two different forms of automation in email marketing which would be RSS emails or otherwise known as blog broadcasts or there's also autoresponders which of course are automatic emails that you put together that send automatically within a certain amount of days of somebody subscribing to your list as far as RSS emails go I have to give the um, I have to give the winning the winner to um, get response because of the they have a little bit better configuration and they have um, better coding of their RSS emails. I had a lot of trouble with AWeber RSS email so I just kind of stopped messing with it as far as that went but um, GetResponse never really gave me any trouble and their coding worked a lot better so um, if that's a big factor you might look at GetResponse but as far as autoresponders it's really a tie so it's kind of a personal preference but they both do virtually the same things so 
I would have to give the slight winner to get response as far as automation just because of the RSS emails and um, the, the easier time I had with that. And of course we have um, overall email composition. And uh, as far as that goes, you need to, uh, as far as email composition goes, it, it's really between who um, makes it easier to create a normal broadcast email and uh, who has the most templates, who has uh, the better layout that helps you kind of put things together easier. Usually these are kind of drag and drop type things. And um, the only way I was able to really pick a winner between these is because Get Response shows you what the email looks like on different devices, like smartphones, for instance. We all know smartphone marketing and uh, mobile marketing trends are really going up as the future goes on. More and more people are opening emails through their phones. So get response shows you how it's going to look on a phone before you send it out which makes it very easy for you to adjust the font size adjust the images and things like that to make the email look the best it can and be easy to read for your list so for that reason I have to give the uh, the win to get response in the overall email composition All right. And now, list importing. Um, as you can see, Git Response has a lot of list importing um, things that you can do. And when it comes to that, Aweber kind of lacks because uh, every time you import a list to Aweber, the problem is they have to resubscribe to your new list and so it'll send out an email where they have to resubscribe and a lot of these people will miss that email or just be confused as to why they're getting that email when they're already opted in they don't not realizing that you're probably switching email services so you're gonna lose a lot of your list probably a lot of long-term sales from this and get response actually um, just reviews it they make sure that when you upload a txt file of your email list um, they review it they make sure it's credible and then within a few hours you'll have it transferred over to your new list and get response so for that reason get response wins list importing because with aweber's way of doing things unless they've changed it very recently it's a lot harder to keep your list when you're transferring over to Aweber also analytics are very important um, tracking who has the best as far as analytics how are you gonna figure out you know what's working and what's not analytics are very important you should be keeping track of that whether it's blogging emailing whatever as far as between Get Response and Aweber, um, both have an app for checking stats, so you can check them on the go on your phone. If you have to go to a meeting, if you have to go somewhere else, um, you don't have to wait till you get back to the office to check. Both track open rates, click through rates, unsubscribe rates, dates, times, things like that, um, which are pretty standard in all email marketing services and as far as get response it adds a few more analytics that really um, made me have to give them the win for this because they show you the goal conversions if you have a goal you can set a goal like uh, how much you make for each um, sale from these emails and you can track that how many sales you get through different emails through goal conversions you can um, figure out email ROI, return on investment. Uh, you can figure out how many emails were shared on social media, one-on-one -on -one email comparisons to compare which ones do better, 
Um, you can even get stats by the device to see uh, which ones get more opens, get more clicks, things like that on different uh, devices like maybe tablets or mobile phones or laptops, things like that. So Get Response adds a few metrics that I didn't see on AWeber, so I have to give the winner for tracking to Get Response. As far as deliverability and bounce rate, um, also that's very important as well. You can't get your emails opened, clicked, or make any money from email marketing if people aren't getting your emails in the first place and um, you also want to keep them out of people's junk folder or their spam box in uh, their their preferred email inboxes so between the two I have to give them a tie because really although I have seen uh, a top marketer I won't name their name but um, that he claimed that AWeber's deliverability isn't as reliable anymore thanks to spammers using the service a lot and over the years you know AWeber's been around quite a while but um, there's no real proof or data that he gave to back that up so it's really just speculation and from what I've done as far as research I concluded that they both are around the 90% range, 95%, things like that. So they're both good at deliverability. And, you know, that one claim can't bias me either way because there's nothing backing it up. Okay, so I give a tie in deliverability between GetResponse and AWeber. So the verdict, um, as you could probably tell, GetResponse got the nod between the two. Um, in most of the categories there are a few ties you know AWeber might have won one or two categories but um, less, unless you're really concerned about like opt-in forms or something like that or um, I mean that's about the only thing AWeber really beat get response in as far as this went so unless you're just really really worried about that or you just have some kind of bad issue in the past with get response I would recommend you just go with get response even if you have AWeber already because you could save money you can uh, get a cleaner layout I know that's kind of an opinionated thing as far as the layout or which one looks better and feels better but really get response is a little more um, updated as far as their dashboard and things like that um, and with the pricing, with the added analytics, with the better list importing, with the better RSS emails and things like that, just as good as deliverability and um, you know all the other things that go with this, I have to give it to get response as the winner and um, hopefully this will help you make a better decision whether you go with AWeber, whether you go with get response, that's completely up to you. You may even go with Mailchimp or Infusionsoft. Maybe you don't like Get Response or AWeber, you know. I just want to do this video as a clear cut comparison between all the aspects of these email marketing giants. And I hope it helped you in making a decision or um, just going through the learning process of your choices. So if you like the video, um, please like the, if you like the video, please press the like button and uh, please subscribe. For more videos like this, I do other comparisons. For instance, I did one between uh, Buffer and Hootsuite and some other popular services. I also give a lot of marketing tips and entrepreneurship um, management tips and uh, even personal development, things like that. I teach you all there is to know about being an entrepreneur and all there is to know about running a business online and marketing it. So subscribe if you liked what you saw and you learned something from it. Don't forget to leave a comment if you uh, just wanted to say something or add to this video. Or maybe you uh, wanted to uh, suggest a future video. Go ahead and leave a comment. I'll check it out and take that as a note. And uh, don't forget to visit us at selfmadesuccess.com for more uh, 
complete articles, blog posts, uh, other content, and other free resources, and uh, other uh, higher level learning and things like that in all aspects of marketing, business, entrepreneurship, and uh, self development. And uh, so I'll see you in the next video. That's about it for this one. This was A Weber versus Get Response, and uh, you get to see the verdict. You got to see all aspects of these uh, giants in the email marketing space. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you'll see me in my next video, and I hope you have a great day.